Good morning everyone. Last time we have explained about the non-insect pest, rats and bandicoots. Today we are going to second type of non-insect pest belonging to phylum Arthropoda class Crustacea that is crabs. The crabs have been reported to cause heavy losses to the paddy crops or the rice fields in Ratnagiri that is Konkan, Thana and Kolaba districts of Maharashtra state. So the crabs are the important pest of the paddy fields in Maharashtra that is western region of Maharashtra and the three districts such as Ratnagiri, Thana and Kolaba. Three species of the crabs are known to damage in our country locally referred as Khekda, Chimburi and Muthya. So these are the three different type of crabs which are harmful and causing much of the damage, serious damage to the various crops including rice or the paddy fields. All these crabs are polyphagous means they can feed upon any type of crops but or whatever the crops present are available in the field. They cut the young paddy plants near the ground level and carry them to their burrows for feeding. They are active during night as they are nocturnal. The crabs are nocturnal in habit and they feed or they come out of the burrows particularly for the feeding purpose during night. So they become active during night because of their nocturnal habit and they cut the paddy plants uh, from the base and carries them into the burrows for feeding purpose. Besides their crop damaging activity, they prepare a series of burrows in the paddy fields and due to which water will pass out from the rice fields and thus water is not retained in the field. Thus crab is a major crustacean pest of the paddy crop and thus it requires the intensive control measures. So the crabs are also very important or serious pest of the paddy fields and certain other number of crops uh, in the Maharashtra and this is having three different type of crabs that is Khekda, Chimburi and Muthya. So these are the three important varieties of the crabs. These are the local names and uh, which are harmful and causing much of the loss or damage of the paddy fields in the western part of Maharashtra. The control measures. Crab burrows can be fumigated with the cyano gas dust. So similar to the uh, treatment of the burrows in case of rats and bandicoots, the, we can employ the same type of fumigants for the destruction or the killing of the crabs in a crab burrows. So the crab burrows can be fumigated with the cyano gas dust. Then poison baiting of 5% DDT plus 1% dialdrin or 0.08% endrin with a rice syrup or 0.5% endrin or parathion at the rate of 80 to 100 ml per burrow is quite effective in controlling the crabs. So there are two type of chemical control measures. One that is fumigation of the uh, crab burrows by using the cyano gas dust and secondly we can use the poison beds of uh, different uh, uh, poisons such as 5% uh, DDT plus 1% dialdrin or 0.08% endrin. So these uh, three type of pesticides can be used in the form of poison beds and uh, the 0.5% endrin or parathion at the rate of 80 to 100 ml per burrow can be used 
for the effective control of the crabs. So this is the diagram common curly crab of the Mumbai. So in the corner we can see the crab common curly crab of the Mumbai. Then we will explain the another invertebrate or non-insect pest that is a snail sand sludge which belongs to phylum mollusca. So these are the soft bodied animals belonging to phylum mollusca, snails, land snails and sludges. So these are the molluscan uh, invertebrate non-insect pest and uh, these are belonging to invertebrate category of the pest. So the snails and sludges are non-insect invertebrate pest and are herbivorous in habit. So they are feeding on to the number of crop plants, uh, feeding on to the uh, foliage or the leaves of the variety of crops. The snails and sludges damage gardens, orchards, orchards that is variety of crops which are uh, cultivated or grown in the field. So the variety of crops that is orchards may be the gardens that is horticultural crops or the cereal or the food crops. So the snail sand sludge damage gardens, orchards, greenhouses and mushroom beds as they feed on the succulent or soft parts of the seedlings or the crop of plants and also the mature plants. Helix species feed on living vegetable matter like leaves, fruits during night. The pila, this is again another gastropod, terrestrial gastropod called as pila, supposed to damage the paddy fields in a western Maharashtra. Then uh, African, African snail, that is a giant African snail called as achatina fulica is also a serious pest of the fruits, vegetables and many ornamental plants in a coastal areas of Orissa, West Bengal, Assam, Tamil Nadu, Kerala and even in a Maharashtra. Snails can cause damage to crops particularly at the early stages and thus are uh, called as the agricultural pest. Besides this, it may be vector or it may act as a vector for the transmission of various diseases or the pathogens of the various diseases such as schistosoma or causing schistosomiasis from veterinary and medical point of view. So the snails can also serve as a vector and can lead to uh, the transmission of number of pathogens or the disease causing agents from animal to animal or even to the veterinary animals and the human being. So can cause the variety of uh, diseases also. Then control measures. The best known chemical control measure of the snails is the use of poison baits with the use of metahaldehyde. Metahaldehyde is a polymer of acetaldehyde. It is a toxic to the snails. It is very toxic to the snails by contact as well as oral ingestion. The chemical or this chemical acet uh, polymer of acetaldehyde or metaldehyde immobilizes the snails and copious slime is released out of the body of the snails and they die due to dehydration. So the effect of this uh, uh, molluscicide or metaldehyde is there is a release of large quantity of copious secretion or a slime or the mucus from the body of snails and sludges and due to this there is a dehydration of the body tissues of the snails and sludges and this will ultimately lead us into the death of the snails and sludges. 
it is applied as a bait this particular molluscicide or pesticide metaldehyde is applied as a poison bait mixed with a bran and the dosage is very low about 400 g of metaldehyde mixed with 30 kg of the bran may be rice bran and is sufficient for 1 hectare area of the crop field and will control the sludge so the dose of the metaldehyde is very low the dose of the metaldehyde given for the control of the sludges and snails is very low and that is only 400 grams of the metaldehyde mixed with 30 kg of the bran and is sufficient for 1 hectare area of the crop field and this will uh, very effective to control the sludges and the snails metaldehyde have low mammalian toxicity metaldehyde is having low mammalian toxicity and thus can be uh, advantageous as far as the um, environmental pollution is concerned the metaldehyde uh, will become very much advantageous or convenient for the for its use for the control of snails and sludge because of its low mammalian toxicity so these are the diagrams or the images showing snails and sludge the first one that is achatina flica called as african giant snail helix pomata this is again another terrestrial land snail helix pomata and last one that is limnia species so these are the three different type of snails and sludge which are the important pest of the various crops in a maharashtra so these are the three different type of snail stand sludges or the gastropod terrestrial gastropods causing much of the loss or damage of the crops in the field that is achatina pulica helix pomata and limnia species then capital d n o c or dinitro o cyclohexyl phenol reported to be very effective against snails when used as a herbicide so this is the herbicide and which can be sprayed on to the crop which are infested with the snails and sludges so whenever there are snails or sludges found in the crop field we can use the herbicide namely dnoc or is called as it is a chemical called dinitro o cyclohexyphenol this is a very effective against the snails and when is used as a herbicide then another uh, chemical called copper sulfate copper sulfate and n tritil morpholine commonly called as fiscon have been also found very useful against the snails when they are spread on uh, meadows harboring these animals so these are the certain chemicals one herbicide that is dinitro o cyclohexyphenol and the copper sulfate and n tritil morpholine these are the uh, effective chemicals or the pesticides can be used effectively for the control of the snail sand sludges then one more type of non insect pest that is the squirrels belong belonging to class mammalia so it is a mammal squirrels is a mammal so the zoological name of the uh, squirrel that is phrenambulus palmarum phrenambulus palmarum phrenambulus palmarum is the zoological name of the squirrel so 
this squirrel is common in maharashtra so in maharashtra squirrels are commonly known as khar they are commonly known as khar they cause considerable damage to the mango by feeding on flowers and small fruits so this is the important pest of the fruit uh, plant or the crop like mango they are also reported to be destructive in areca nut garden freshly sown cereals pulses and the oil seeds that is the crop fields whenever we uh, sow the crops like uh, cereals or pulses and the oil seeds like uh, groundnut or soybean or sunflower so such type of crop fields when uh, immediately after the germination of these seeds oil seeds or oil containing seeds like sunflower then uh, linseed then soybean groundnut so such type of uh plants oil seeds or the oil seedlings when grows or germinates in the initial phase are uh, destroyed completely by the squirrels so they are reported to be destructive in areca nut garden then mango like uh, fruit plants and freshly sown cereals pulses and the uh, oil seeds which are uh, destroyed uh, by the squirrels so these are also important pest of the variety of crop fields and uh, even the fruit crops even the coconuts so coconut uh, fruits small coconut fruits uh, at in the flowering stage can be also destroyed by the squirrels so in maharashtra squirrels squirrels are commonly known as khar and they cause considerable damage to the uh, fruit plants or the crops like mango coconut etc by feeding on flowers and the small fruits they are also reported to be destructive or harmful in a damage of areca nut garden and also the freshly sown cereals pulses and uh, oil seeds then regarding the control measures the trapping use of traps for the trapping or catching the squirrels in a nets and shooting them with the guns is the only effective control measure applied so below there is a image showing a indian palm squirrel indian palm squirrel commonly called as khar and its zoological name is funambulus palmarum so this is about the uh, squirrel and uh, the other non insect pest that is uh, crabs snails sludges crabs snails sludges sludges crabs snails sludges and the squirrels and last time we have explained the detailed account of the rats and bandicoots so these are the different type of non non insect pest invertebrate and vertebrate pest which are also very harmful uh, and causing much of the loss or damage of the agricultural crops and thus it is essential to study uh, their biology or it is also essential to employ the uh, suitable control measure for the destruction or killing of these uh, pest so as to avoid the loss or the damage caused due to these non insect pest so today with this we'll uh, stop here and uh, next time we'll uh, continue with uh, the next topic that is pest control practices till then bye thank you